Space is continually offering up new mysteries for scientists and astronomers to unpack and attempt to solve. And although it often seems as though many of these mysteries are unsolvable, every day we get closer to understanding more and more about the infinite vastness that stretches out beyond our own planet Earth. Whether it is strange phenomena in our own galaxy or mystifying occurrences hundreds upon hundreds of light years away, scientists have set out to uncover as much as they possibly can about the cosmic world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three interesting discoveries and what they mean for our understanding of the final frontier. Strange Objects Punching Holes Through Saturn's F-Ring When it comes to space, there is truly no end to the mysteries that are revealed every day. Recently, scientists studying images captured by NASA's Cassini spacecraft noticed something interesting occurring within Saturn's notoriously chaotic F-Ring. It seemed that there were large, mysterious objects about a kilometre wide that were penetrating the thin, icy ring leaving trails of tiny ice particles steaming behind it for anywhere between 40 to 180 kilometers. These objects did not smash or blast through the rings at high speeds either. Instead, they made their way through rather leisurely at only 2 meters per second. At a temporary loss for what exactly this strange phenomenon was, astronomers fittingly named them mini-jets. Saturn's F-ring is notably dynamic and has intrigued scientists who were interested in unlocking its secrets, meaning that these mini-jets are another piece in the celestial puzzle. Astronomers have long observed the ability of moons such as Prometheus and Pandora, in addition to various other large bodies surrounding Saturn, to cause fluctuations and ripples in the F-ring, creating what seemed to be sticky, snowball-like objects. Based on these recent images, Scientists hypothesize that these snowballs, once formed, go on a journey through the rings, growing in size as they create their own orbits that weave spectacularly through the existing ice rings of Saturn. Interestingly, although this discovery was made fairly recently, the mini-jets have been around for quite some time. Scientists studying Cassini images from all the way back in 2009 first noticed the trails, which were incredibly tiny in photographs, and then embarked on a scavenger hunt through all of the Cassini photographs taken in the intervening years to attempt to discover if the phenomenon was a fluke or something more regular. This image search was no small task, as the F-ring's circumference is 881,000 kilometers long, and over 20,000 images of the region were taken during the time frame. However, at the end of the search, Astronomers identified 500 instances of these mini-jets, which indicates that they are a much more regular occurrence than initially suspected and certainly warrant further study. Not only did the images captured by Cassini unveil the interesting mini-jets, but they also revealed a lot about the surprisingly complex nature of the F-ring. Carl Murray, who is a member of the Cassini imaging team, described it by saying that these latest Cassini results go to show how the F-ring is even more dynamic than we ever thought. The F-ring region is like a bustling zoo of objects, from a kilometre in size to moons like Prometheus, a hundred kilometres in size, creating a spectacular show. And these ice trails certainly put on a spectacular show indeed. These images can help scientists studying space to understand how entities like Saturn, with its mysterious dusty rings, came to emerge according to the laws of the solar system. Additionally, astronomers studying Saturn and its rings can use these images and what they reveal about the mini-jets within to better understand the flourishing activity occurring all around the giant of our solar system. For such a seemingly lifeless expanse, space boasts some of the most amazing occurrences happening without us ever noticing. Supermassive Black Hole Speeding Through Space a very, very large black hole is on the move and moving at a very rapid pace at that. This supermassive black hole, which is over 3 million times heavier than our Sun, is tracking across a neighbouring galaxy at the astonishing speed of 177,000 km per hour, although luckily this galaxy is over 230 million light years away. And to top it all off, the astronomers who first spotted the black hole and have been tracking its rapid movements have no idea why it is behaving the way that it has. 
The reason that this discovery is exceptionally shocking is because not only did scientists not know that black holes were able to move as rapidly as this one, but they had only recently theorized that they could move at all due to the incredible force required to elicit even the smallest shift. This mysteriously moving supermassive black hole was discovered as scientists began to search for moving black holes to support their theory, but they never expected to come across one as large as this one moving quite so quickly. Dominic Pesce, a researcher with the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and study leader, said that we don't expect the majority of supermassive black holes to be moving. They're usually content to just sit around. Consider how much more difficult it is to kick a bowling ball into motion than it is to kick a soccer ball. Realizing that in this case, the bowling ball is several million times the mass of our sun. That's going to require a pretty mighty kick. Pesce and the other researchers on the team have spent the past five years hunting for instances of moving black holes in the center of galaxies surrounding our own. But how do you measure the speed of something that you can't see? After all, black holes absorb all rays of the electromagnetic spectrum and usually must be instead identified by their effect on the objects surrounding them. In this case, Pesce and his team focused their study on black holes that had water spirals spinning inward towards them. These orbiting water spirals are known as accretion disks and produce a thin beam of radio light which can be used to measure the velocity of the black hole. Amazingly, out of the 10 black holes that were measured, only the one at the center of a galaxy known as J0437 plus 2456 appeared to be moving, and it was moving at the impressive speeds previously mentioned. However, although researchers were able to successfully identify a moving black hole, they have been less successful in coming up with an answer as to why that black hole is not sitting stationary, although two theories have been generated. The first is that this supermassive black hole is the result of two black holes merging, resulting in a recoil of sorts that causes the observed movement. The second theory postulates that the black hole is one part of a paired binary system, and the other entity does not have accretion disks and is therefore going to be much harder to pin down due to its lack of radio wave emissions. Despite every expectation that they really ought to be out there in some abundance, Scientists have had a hard time identifying clear examples of binary supermassive black holes, Pesce admits. What we could be seeing in the galaxy J0437 plus 2456 is one of the black holes in such a pair, with the other remaining hidden to our radio observations because of its lack of massa emissions. For now, this discovery is the exciting tip of a proverbial space iceberg and hopefully future research will be able to pinpoint exactly why such a large black hole is moving so quickly. TOI-849b If you thought that there was a large variety in our own planets in the Milky Way, then you should see the strange array that exists in the exoplanets lurking hundreds of light years away from Earth. One such interesting specimen is the exoplanet TOI-849b, which was discovered in 2020 by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite in a galaxy over 700 light-years away. This planet, which is about the size of Neptune and half the mass of Saturn, is unique because it seems to have no atmosphere at all and orbits extremely close to its star. In fact, it is so close that an entire orbit takes less than one Earth day and has an unimaginably hot surface temperature that is estimated to be almost 1500 degrees Celsius. By contrast, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system and is still less than 900 degrees Celsius. Scientists studying this interesting new addition to the exoplanet catalogue believe that it might lack an atmosphere due to its close proximity to its star. They theorize that the boiling hot exoplanet is actually the exposed core of what was formerly a gas giant that had its outer layers and atmosphere blasted away by the immense radiation emanating from the star. And without the photoevaporation likely responsible for shrinking the planet down to a fiery ball, it seems that it would have a rather large atmosphere indeed. It is 40 times the mass of Earth, which means that it should have a large gravitational pull that attracts a thick, puffy atmosphere around it. However, because the outer layers are unable to survive the close proximity to the star, its diameter is only three times that of Earth's, indicating that it would be a much larger planet 
up to 10 times the diameter of Earth. Was it not for the constant heat and unfavorable conditions resulting from being so incredibly close to its star, it is estimated that it would grow to up to 10 times Earth's diameter. Although scientists have yet to discover where this planet could have come from, it is yet another mystery waiting to be solved. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.